Okay, next topic is to do with percent, just more real life usage of, of percentages. Um, finding the discount at a store or how much taxes you got to pay on an item at a store. Um, pretty similar how to find the discount or to how to find taxes. The first step when you have a question that is asking you about what the discount is or what the sale price is, is that you have to find the discount first, which I'll show you in a few seconds. Find the discount by finding what percent off of the number of the original price we need to uh, take off. That's usually uh, a multiplication step. And then once we found the discount, the second step is we need to subtract the discount from the original price. Make sense? If you want to save money, you want to subtract that discount from the original price, not add it, which is what you got to do with taxes. Um, what you have to do with taxes um, is you need to find, step one would be to find the tax. Here's the question. Do they, the stores tax you on the original price or do they tax you on the sale price? Well, it'd be kind of cruel if they had a sale and, but they taxed you on the original price, not the sale price. So, um, no matter what you think about stores and government and whatever, they do tax you on the sale price. So you find the tax on the sale price. And then what you do is you, because you're paying extra, you need to add that to the sale price. So, let's take a look at this example here of a calculator, which again you're allowed to have and hopefully you have at the side with you. Um, it costs $7, but it's on sale at 25% off. Two questions, what's the discount, what's the sale price? First, finding the discount. We are told that the $7 calculator is 25% off. Now what that means is, we don't just take $7 and subtract 25. It's 25% off of the price of the calculator. So we need to know what is 25% of $7. Well, that's like the last sheet. Percent is given, you're going to multiply. So we'll take our 25%, convert it to a decimal, 0 0.25 times the seven dollars, I and mean, you can leave it to seven, or if you, I'll just put in the point zero zero. Don't need to though, and then we calculate it. Zero point two five times seven, one point seven five. Now, since we're talking money here, everything should be rounded to the second decimal place. That was one point. I forgot what was it. 1.75. That's one dollars and seventy-five cents. That's what that means because we were given dollars. Well, the answer is in dollars. If you get an answer with lots of decimal places after it, I don't want that in the answer. It has to be in money terms. You don't see that at a store. 1.7 blah 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 after it. Or just like if this was if this was rounded to 1.8, don't. What's what is 1.8 dollars? That means. You have to have a second decimal place, especially when we're talking about money questions, which we are here. So that's the discount. That's how much we're saving. So to get the sale price, all you got to do is take that $7, which was the original price, and subtract the $1.75. And when you subtract the two, you get $5.25. Go ahead, use a calculator. It doesn't matter to me. Okay, find the discount subtract from the original price. Did We didn't talk about taxes here at all. If I don't mention it, don't worry about it. Okay. Second example. A $249.99 microwave is 40% off. What's the discount? What's the sales price? Same thing as before. Find the discount. We take our 40%, convert it into a decimal. 0 0.40 
multiply it by our 249. 249.99. We multiply those two things together. So, 0 0.4. Do I have to put the 0 after it? I don't. All right, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0, 0, 0, they're all the same thing. So I'm just going to be say that. That means the same thing as this. Uh, times 249.99. And we will get an answer of this. 99.996. And 99.996. Is this in money terms? No. You never see a price of something at a store with a third decimal place. We have to round this to the second decimal place, the hundredths place, or the pennies place. Okay, so we have to round to here. The number after is, is above 5, so that means this will round to 10. Well, what do you do there? We put the 0 down here, carry the 1. That gives us 10. Put the 0 down here, carry the 1. That gives us 10. Put the 0 down here, carry the 1. And that gives us 10. So this rounds up to a nice even $100. To find the sale price, well, that's what we're saving. So we take, that's easy. Just take your 249.99 original price, subtract $100. Whoops. Subtract the hundred dollars and you get one forty nine point nine nine or one hundred forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. All right. So rounding is important. Every penny counts. You just can't say it's ninety nine ninety nine. That means there's a penny that, in this case, um, you're missing out. Every penny counts. Okay, a pen is $1.75 and 50% off. Discount, sale price, what is it? No big deal. Take the price, or take the percentage first. Not that it really matters. You can start with the price first if you want. 0 0.15 is the percent to a decimal. Multiply it by $1.75. When you times those two things together, 0 0.15 times... Oops, sorry. Make sure it's $1.75 there. Times a one dollar and seventy-five cents, you get this zero point two six two five. Remember, this is dollars we're supposed to have it in. Now, what would this be in money terms? Remember, money. We go to the penny or the cent, which is the hundredths place to there. We look at the number after it. It's less than five, so this six will stay the same. This rounded answer becomes. 26 cents, 0 0.26 dollars, which is the same thing as 26 cents. That's our discount. To get a sale price, we take our $1.75 minus 26 cents, and you get, trust me, use your calculator if you don't trust me, $1.49. Done. That's the sale price we walk away with for the pen. But, all of these prices so far have been without tax. Currently in BC, we pay 12% HST on pretty much everything. Uh, it's changing soon. Let's we'll, we'll just go with what we know right now. 12% tax on pretty much everything that you pay or buy. So, this question here. What is the tax to be paid on the calculator above? The calculator... Um, that we had above. Let's take a look. The calculator original cost was seven dollars. The sale price was five twenty-five. And remember what I said: they charge you tax on the sale price. So we will not going to go by the original price. We'll go by the sale price. So let's use this five twenty-five. Yeah, we got a discount on it, but we got to pay tax. So we take the five dollars and twenty-five cents. And we want to find what is 12% of that, and that's how much extra we got to pay. They charge you 12%, so we got to find 
What is 12% of this? This is another multiplication thing because percent is given in the question. Notice this time I started with the, the money and then went with decimal. It makes no difference when you're multiplying which order you do it in. Anyways, 525 times 0 0.12, which is 12%. On the calculator, it becomes 5.25 times 0 0.12 gives us 0 0.63. 0 0.63. Remember in money, we want the second decimal place. Well, this one worked out nicely. It already is the second decimal place. So at 63 cents, we need to do what with? Are we going to add or subtract? Taxes. The final price with taxes is going to be this added on. This is the tax. So it's $5.25 plus 63 cents. When you add those two together, you get $5.88. So yeah, there was a discount, but taxes takes a uh, adds to the price a bit, and you're paying 588 take home for your calcu uh, calculator with taxes. Next, let's add tax to the microwave. Well, the microwave rem remember was originally 249, 100% dollar discount became 149 dollars and 99 cents. So. $149.99. The tax is always going to be, when I give you questions, unless I tell you differently, 12%. Tax, 12%. Remember it. So that's 12% at a decimal, 0 0.12. When you times it all together, trust me on the calculator, the calculator will spit out this 17.9988. money terms. We have to round to the nearest penny, which is the second decimal place. I'll just going to round. The number after it's 8, it's bigger, so that means that you're going to have a 10 here. Put down the 0, carry the 1. 10. Put down the 0, carry the 1. That's 8. And we're left with $18 as our tax we have to pay. What do you got to do with tax? You add it to the sale price, so it's 149.99 plus the $18, and trust me, with a calculator, you would get 167. Whoops, 167 dollars and 99 cents. Okay. Even though I didn't show the calculator, it'd be a good idea if you pause this thing and, and just did it for yourself, so that you can feel what it feels like to uh, do these questions on a calculator. Okay, last question. A stove is $700 and 40% off. What's the discount, the sale price, the tax, and the final price? So the whole shebang all in one big step. Don't do it one big step. Do it in four separate steps. First, the discount. Well, $700, and we're taking 40% off of that. So again, it's a multiply because percent is given. Let's take our 40% decimal, multiply it by 700. When you times those two together in a calculator, trust me, you'll get $280 even. Okay, pause this video, do it with the calculator, see if you get that answer. Take that answer and we're going to do what to find the sale price? Well, sale price, obviously you're saving money, so we'll take our original $700, subtract this $280 with your sale price, and we get $420. I'm getting lazy enough in the pennies because it's nice round, zero, zero, but still. Okay, that's our sale price. Now we've got to find the tax. Remember, tax is paid on the sale price. So the sale price is $420. Tax is always 12%, like I said before. So we'll multiply this by 12% as a decimal, which is 0 0.12. You times those two together, trust me, you get $50.40. Actually, don't trust me. Pause. Let's do it for yourself on the calculator. And with that, that's how much extra tax we have to pay. How do we get our final price for the stove? Well, we take our price, that, our discount price, our sale price, $420, and we add, we're paying extra taxes. $50.40 
you get a final answer of $470.40 for our stove. Even with taxes, that's a pretty good deal. It was $700, now it's $470.40. Okay, the skill testing question is really just one. There is a scarf that is $24.49, it's 20% off. What's the discount? What's the sale price? What's the tax? And what's your final take home, final price that you gotta pay? That's it. Talk to you later. Hopefully, this assignment or this lesson wasn't too taxing on you. Bye bye.